Well, good morning, friends. Welcome back to the homestead. We have had a few very wet days and that's just perfect for what I want to do today. Let's go find some mushrooms. The dogs don't know where we're going. It's been so dry here the past few weeks. The creek has been nearly completely dried up all the time, even after it rains. But usually, like last year, it flowed almost all year round. But now we just have little puddles like this. But that makes for nice moist areas. And right after the rain, this should be perfect. Daisy, Harvey, Colt, come on. There you go. He's like, what are you doing, Dad? It's been a while since I've been able to walk down through the creek because my rubber boots got a great big old hole in them and every time I walked in the water my sock would fill up. And now I got some new boots. Some moss. <laughs> it's always fun going someplace new on the property. You'd think living out here for the past seven years, there wouldn't be any place that I haven't been to, but I never actually have walked down this far down the creek. It's like something was living in there. Well, we've seen all kinds of wildlife in and around the creek. Uh, seen otters, mink, uh, lots of turtles, snapping turtles, box turtles. Ooh, what's this? It's an armadillo or what's left of one, that's pretty nasty. You know, armadillos are the uh, only animals, or at least here in North America, that have been known to carry leprosy. We used to not really have that many armadillos. Back, uh, back when I was growing up, it was always just possum. You never saw armadillos, but slowly, slowly, they started migrating across the state, and now we're just inundated with them. They're everywhere. Pesky little boogers too. They just tear up your yard, dig little holes everywhere. Got a big old dead tree here. Let's look and see what's on this. Got a few little fun guys on there, but I don't know what those are. So I'm gonna leave them alone. Pop right back out into our little dog leg field. Daisy, come. We had a couple of big storms and uh, come through, take down some trees. Uh, but then we've had trees down for a long time. So looking to see if maybe we can find some of the, the chicken of the woods or some ear ears, tree ears or something. Uh, but then I've found this stuff and this is like a I think they call it a spice bush and these little berries you break them open and they smell very very citrusy like like lemon uh, but apparently they can be, uh, be dried or cooked down and used to replace allspice also another number of good quality things that come from that little tree it's pretty cool what you find when you're just meandering. Um, big old walnuts like this. Look at those big old walnut trees. Got lots of lots of black walnuts around here. Nothing there. What you find up there, Cole? Daisy! Good girl. Good girl. This is probably a terrible idea. It's only like a seven or eight foot drop. Haha, <laughs> I 
I made it. You can see where, so when it rains, water just comes in here, erodes all this, washes it all down. What do we got here? Big ol' pin oak. This big old tree. Let's see what we can find on here. That's interesting. So I don't see anything on the big tree. Well, in this little part, a whole bunch of that. But once again, not the fun guy I'm looking for. Let's go over to the uh, more southern edge of this here hill. The problem with this warm weather sticking around is the bugs like to stick around too. Bouncers and these little tiny black flies, they just like to bite you. You can't see them. They just show up out of nowhere. noticed over here anyways is that uh, in the areas like the fields that were cleared years ago because they ran cattle all through here um, when they uh, when they started leaving them unattended seems like the cedars were the first to take up and establish themselves and it wasn't until the cedars kind of would start to open up the the forest floor that the more hardwoods push through and then once the hardwoods wood, push through they kill out the cedars so deep inside you'll see a bunch of dead cedars or the remnants of them but then on the edges you'll see more solid and established cedars across the street we've got some humongous cedar trees been there for a while we got these little berries. Apparently those are really poisonous. That's what my son says anyways. They look so yummy. They look like those uh, um, little raisins that are covered in like the, it's not yogurt. Maybe it is yogurt, I don't know. Like yogurt covered, covered raisins. Is that a thing? That might be a thing. So this is where we had a couple of big trees come down. We just took them out of the woods. Let's look and see what we got over here. Oh, I need to take this one out. I just have no idea how I'm gonna do that. This is a giant black cherry tree. It was standing dead, because I guess the roots just rotted out and ended up falling. We took this main part of it out. We got this one that's just caught up on that tree. That's going to be a booger. That's supposedly very desirable for uh, barbecue, firewood, smokers, things of that nature. This is what I was looking for. But I might be day late and a dollar short to find it again. Maybe in a few more, uh, few more days after all this cooler weather starts to move in. seen it alive. We'll take a quick walk up the hill again. But you know what? Kids are probably awake now. Probably should head back. Even though we have an empty bucket. But that's how life rolls sometimes. You try to make a plan. Experiment a little. You do a little something outside of your normal behavior and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't all right friends well that's about all the hunting i'm doing this morning we'll be doing more hunting of the four-legged creatures here soon very soon but thank you guys so much for watching me look for fun guys uh, you have a wonderful day, and if you found this video informative or at least entertaining, please hit the thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. 
And if you've not subscribed to our channel, feel free to subscribe. See all the things that we have going on here on the homestead. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. All right, puppies, are we going home? Are we going home? We gotta take care of some chickies. We gotta move some chickens. Yep, I know it. I hear you.